¿Cómo estás? Oop, hold up, something on the screen, child. Throw something on my face, but it ain't. Fun. Oh, there you go. Hey, face you. How you doing, boo? You're the first one in here tonight. Woo, woo. Hey, Kim Anderson. Hello, hello, hello. How you doing? I haven't done a thrift haul in a long ass time, so I figured today would be a good day. Okay. Hey, life of a groovy girl. How you doing? Debbie S. Y'all ain't gonna hit the like button. Like, really? We still gotta be having these conversations. Y'all ain't gonna hit the like button. <laughs> hey, Lexi Pooh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Facey. Thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you, Ken. Thank you, Ken Ken. Hey, Ken Ken. Okay, I'm gonna give it like two, three minutes. We're gonna wait till we get to the five minute mark. And then I'm gonna start showing y'all what I got, my fans over the weekend, okay? Oh, child, did y'all have a good weekend? I know I did. I did, I had a wonderful weekend. And I'm looking forward to having a wonderful birthday month. Okay, okay. Fun. It's our birthday next month. Woo 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 woo. <laughs> hey Kim Robinson, how you doing? I ain't seeing you in a minute. Lisa. Okay. Welcome, welcome. They hitting the like button. Um, Ken Ken. I had to say that. Tell us we still gotta have this conversation. Like everybody knows by now. Okay. Everybody know by now. All right. Y'all, I went out earlier and I was plain Jane, just like this, okay? What did I have always told y'all? As long as you got some big ass shades, some lip gloss, I do got a little bit of mascara, just a little bit, but no lashes or nothing today. And um, I'm Gucci. What a match earrings in it. Boom, y'all. Okay. Boom, y'all. I was performing, but I'm back. Oh, good. Oh, you, are you, do you do plays or like acting? Like, come on. Give, give me some. Give me some. Y'all, y'all been, y'all been getting me with these earrings till lately. Okay. But these are, these are the blockers I had on today, okay? These are like sequins and beads, and they're on a flat base. And these are, I just said, you know what? You just got to wear the shit, okay? Just wear it. Hey, enlightened goddess. Auntie is back. Kim, good for you. Musicals, acting, and dancing. Ciao. If I could act, I'm just good at doing voices for people, okay? I'm good at doing that. But these are the header blockers I had on while I was out. So, see, see you, let me show y'all the whole. This is how you do it. You have on, you have on your lounge dress, maxi dress with pockets. Fun to get tired of seeing this lady playing clothes <laughs> with pockets. And yes, I had on my little furry shoes. I didn't care. I have I it was too late. I had already walked outside and I was already in the car gone. Okay. Let me let me get a screenshot. Let me take a picture for the thumbnail. <laughs> whoop whoop. Okay, child, I cannot see with these on. I can't. So let's see. 
Thank you, Enlightened. Girl, I'm going to have to fight you and Marjorie about this dress, okay? This is Vintage Vanity Fair, okay? Now, the Vanity Fair is a lingerie company, okay? They still make stuff today, but this is from back in the day. Is it all the way up? Okay. And then, hold up. It's like I got caught on the material. I zip smack. Okay. And it's got double knots and strings. And yes, I thrifted this. Yes, child. Come here. Come here, boy. Come on. You want to say hi to the ladies? You want to say hey, ladies? He said, I didn't know we were doing security tonight. You didn't tell you. She said, my hand already on the cash out button. Face you, hit me up after this live. Girl, because let me tell you, I should take y'all on a tour of my closet. This has been a work in progress. And this is going to have a closet going to be set up for like right now. Okay. Until I come into some funds or get my um, closet custom done. Okay. But when I tell y'all, I have cleaned out the closet. James was just so happy that he could, that he could see his side. You couldn't see the flow. Cause y'all know it's supposed to been down. So I couldn't be putting up no laundry or nothing. Okay. But now that, you know, I'm I'm back in the mix. I've been putting up laundry. I've been purging. I have a bag for Goodwill, a bag for consignment, and a, a, a bin for next year. That's what I got. I even cleaned out bond clothes, child. He had to do some purging too. Okay, and don't don't judge him. He got on a sweater. And it's in the summer. He said he wanted to show his muscles. And look what it says. Yeah, I'm spoiled. I'm spoiled. Yeah, it's my mom. It's my mom. It's my baby. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Cause I gotta finish editing a vlog for y'all. Okay, I gotta finish doing that. All right, you leaving me? Go on. Ch let me show y'all these purses that I got too. That both they both go with these earrings. You gotta have choices. So we have the Kurt. Kirk, I forget his last name, child. Don't don't judge me. Kirk Geiger, okay. We got the Kirk Geiger, okay. Bam, and then we have the vintage clutch. That bam, bam, and bam, Samo. I bought these. I bought this first, and then I found these, and then this was gifted to me. Um, this was my push gift for my baby daddy. You know, push me to recover quick. Okay, that's what it was. But two bags that go with these earrings. So, I know y'all have been asking me to um, start putting accessories in. When you say accessories, I'm going to need y'all to be a little more specific because if that does not entail shoes i ain't never gotta look for shoes okay never however handbags earrings statement earrings statement necklaces all of that good stuff i need y'all to let me know okay let me know hey life's joy and like auntie i, I got my cup So I'm going to tell y'all something that you need for 
Hey, Shayla. Oh, how you doing? Anaya. Something that y'all need. Um, pretty much this is not just pertaining to thrifting. This is also pertaining to when you are just shopping at the regular store, the mall, Target, whatever. Okay. Because I know we got all this shit out here these days. Okay. COVID, monkeypox, all kinds of bullshit. So you need to make sure you have your uh, Clorox fabric sanitizer, no matter if it's new, no matter if it's been washed and sanitized already, sanitize again, okay? This is, I use this. I use this, I use this, I use this. I keep this in my arsenal, okay? Sanitize the soft surfaces in 30 seconds. Okay. Remember Trump told us to drink some bleach because that was the only thing that could kill Corona. Okay. Child. Boo y'all. Bleach free can be used on all fabric colors. Okay. So let's get started. Now, y'all did not answer me about them accessories. I'm waiting to hear about that. I want to do, y'all know I like doing bags, but um, what I was going to say, um, girl, that is what, um, he told us, he told us to drink, remember, he said that in the beginning, drink bleach, it'll cure you, the hell, okay, okay, um, Kim said all accessories, Kim can say handbag, clothes, jewelry, okay, I got some jewelry coming, Y'all might see some this week on Thursday. Y'all might. I got to just make sure I'm in tip-top shape. And some people, some people did that shit. Oh, my gosh. I do got some dope earrings that literally, y'all, y'all was loving these earrings last week. And these are leather, okay? I bought these from a boutique in Atlanta back in 2009, 28, 2008, 2009. And it was, the boutique was called A Dreams. I don't know if she's still around anymore. I don't know. But anyway, I'm getting started. People is stupid, okay? Stupid. That's what I'm going to call it. Okay, so this first bag that I'm going to show y'all, I could not leave this bag. And for real, when I bought this bag, everything that I bought <laughs> at the store that day, I just put it inside this bag. Okay, you have these in yellow? Oh, Kim, I bet them pretty. Mm. So this first bag I'm going to show y'all is this. Okay, this is all embroidery okay with genuine leather i want y'all to y'all hear that texture okay soft leather the bag is like this all the way around this is everything i thrifted that day i put in this bag okay this couple did it and died they drunk that clock stuff oh no ma'am oh that is not good. So it is embroidery. I'm gonna pull it up close so y'all can see it. This is stitched, okay? This is what the bottom is looking like with the feet. It has the shoulder strap, okay? Shoulder strap and it's all done in red on the inside. And child, y'all, it even got a backpack. It even the thing can even convert into a freaking backpack. Okay. This is um this is just like one of them nice slouchy pocketbooks. Okay. This this is a mama's bag, okay? A mama's bag. You got everything in here. Child, this could be a nice baby bag if you think about it. Baby bag that keep growing with you. Okay. I got this. 
<sighs> okay, somebody almost had a heart attack last week when I showed y'all this bag. The sneak peek preview. Now, y'all know anything that I show y'all is up for purchase before the live sale. All you got to do is email me or DM me. But we do not talk prices on here, okay? This bag, okay? Now, this is a piece, okay? This is a piece. I'm going to tell y'all how many people reached over, moved it to the side, the whole nine. And I picked this bag up. And y'all know nothing looks special until I pick it up, okay? Then when I get to the register, that is a gorgeous bag. Girl, you just pushed, you just passed it, okay? And it is like the drop-in basket type, okay? Cuteness, this is a statement by itself. I got... This red leather hobo style, definitely 80s, okay? Red hobo style. This is adjustable. And the inside is a black felt. Um, it's like a black velvet. Very, very nice, okay? This is a blast from the past okay next now all the items i'm going to show y'all now <laughs> i'm gonna get with you in a minute ken ken um all the next pieces i'm showing i did laundry y'all was so proud of myself i did laundry in one afternoon like start to finish okay and I'm getting ready for this week's live sale. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go on and do this. So I got this metallic hot pink blouse. Metallics are going to be very, very in for fall, winter 2022. Okay. They are going to be in. And this one is a long line. This one is a size large. Yeah, this one is a size large. This will look so fly with some of them um, leggings, the little booties. You have your hair up in a messy bun. Child, baby, boom, boom. Okay, I got, I have, so I have a vision in my head. So don't be surprised you don't see me with this outfit on tomorrow. Hold on, I gotta cut these strings. See me with this on tomorrow. But I'm gonna show you what it's supposed to be shown, okay? So, first up, we have this Jones New York silk blouse. This is a size large and it's got all the colors in the rainbow, right? It is a rainbow-tastic, and it is 100% silk, okay? Then, all of this, no, these was in two different styles. This dress, this can also, y'all know I like this type of stuff. When I ain't got to wear a bra, honey, okay. Here, ruffles galore. Okay, or it can be worn as a skirt, but I'm going to wear it as a dress, and I'm going to incorporate this top with it, okay? I'm going to see, I'm going to do what it do. So y'all might see this outfit tomorrow. You might, if you follow me on the ground, okay? But I got these two pieces, and I'm going to mix prints, and I'm going to make this work. Okay, next piece. When I come across something that just shows off black women's ethnicity, I'm getting it. Straight up, I'm getting it. Okay, look at this skirt. 
afros, turbans on this beautiful green background. Okay, this is a pleated skirt. Okay. She's talking about don't put that dress on. <laughs> that dress is, is fire. It's fire. This right here, this skirt right here is by Curvy Girl. It's a brand. And the waist is elastic. This is a 3X, okay? And this is, this could be worn right now. This could be worn during the fall and winter. You put a turtleneck on with your knee-high boots and your belt. Or you could do a cropped black sweater or a, a any of these colors, okay? And you could be one of these girls either with your fro or your afro puffs on too. This is fabulous okay you know you get some fly gear i do honey i be looking out okay be looking out for y'all so this is a 3x this next piece is a romper okay it is a colorful abstract romper it has elastic in the back I don't know. Elastic is going around the whole waist, whole waistline. Okay, you throw your Chuck Taylors on, and you can be real cute. This is a size. Um, where is this? I think it's size medium. Size medium. Boom. Tell me this is not cute. This is definitely 80s fashion right here. Okay. That skirt, Ken Ken. I know you say you don't wear skirts and dresses like that, but that's a skirt. Okay. That's a skirt that can get worn all year round. Next. This one piece jumpsuit, okay? So it's mesh at the top. It got little applique flowers, okay? And then it's in lavender. Let me come all the way down. This pants is a whole one piece pants set. Though so you want a cute little belt, some cute little sandals, Birkenstocks, or some sneakers. Put your little lavender bralette or something like that. Child, this is fly. This is a size. This is size medium. Size medium. <sighs> okay. This next piece I'm going to show y'all is fantabulous okay it's almost like a trick it's a trick okay it is literally some wrap pants literally okay wrap pants so we have this print okay this is some rich luxurious type print okay this is the tie, and then these fasten in the front, okay? Fasten, in, no, fasten in the back, but look at these. These are some statement-ass pants. These were made, y'all. These is handmade. I tried these on. Child, I need to host a house party or something. So I just walk around the house and just... <laughs> be fabulous in these okay these are gorgeous and when i say they wrap it's got splits on the side see fabulous these will fit up to a medium to large the reason i'm saying large is because i know my abdomen is four months pregnant right now right 
But I'm going to take care of that. I'm going to handle that. And I'm going to be on a solid medium after. Okay? I hope I ain't lose y'all with that. If you was on Women Who Wine Saturday night, you know what I'm talking about. Four months pregnant. Okay? If you was on Women Who Wine. <laughs> so, let me get a little beverage. I don't care. This designer will always be on the map, okay? And this is not Versace, but baby, what I'm about to show you, this is a good, good knockoff, okay? These are, what size is this? This is a size medium. Look at this blouse. Look at this. It's got the top, the, the, the cheetah. The cheetah is in this beautiful orange. Now the orange is the color. Orange and brown this season. Okay. Look at this. I'm loving this orange and purple together. Okay. Statements. Statements. Okay. Next, this top right here, this one is in a beautiful blue, and this one actually has, like, beading and sequins on it. She said coat. Um, it's got the, the detailed um, collar button up a blouse like this is a blouse that i would wear all the way buttoned up just so it could make its mark and its statement this one is a size small and this one is by diane gilman okay okay so next Y'all know I love kimonos. I could be a kimono queen right about now, okay? This one is a robe, however, comma. This one can be worn as a kimono because of the print and because of the cut. It is a fluid movement. It has the splits on the side, okay? So it's like split on the side. It has its matching sash. And this is a size. Oh, look. Wait a minute. This is a size large. Size large. And this is O oh, Shanghai. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful, rich jewel tone. Okay. Rich. And it has the tie on the inside. So y'all know this can be also worn as a dress as well. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. It's called Little Little. Very nice. I love that dark too. Yes, with them cherry blossoms. Boom. Okay, this next set. I don't even know if I want to sell this. But you know what? I come across shit all the time. So I ain't going to do y'all like that. This one is a size large. And this is... Vicky don't have nothing on old school vintage. Okay? I ain't going to even front. So this is the print. Okay? This is the robe. Let's untie the robe. Okay, let's untie the robe. And then the robe has the matching teddy romper, okay, bodysuit. It does have snaps at the bottom. So snaps loose for easy access. Wank, wank. Mm hmm. Okay. This is the front. And it has a little sash to adjust your waist because it is elastic in the back. 
So you got some room, but girl, I can see booty cheeks. Just, I, I still like to flirt with my husband, y'all. I don't care how long I've been married to him. I still like to flirt. I think he's the only person I know how to flirt with, okay? So, matching vintage teddy set with matching robe. Y'all remember I did that um live and it was Stephanie's Secrets and I had some shit for y'all and y'all bought all of it up, okay? This is a two-piece matching set and this is a size large. Yep, size large. We have another, come on now. Shout out to the easy hello and hello. Because, honey, some of this stuff that we be seeing now in the stores, honey, the material could get lost up there somewhere. You know what I'm saying? And who wants to be going through all of that? Not I. Okay. Very sexy date night, honey. Psh, psh. Okay. Here we have a red kimono. This one is a 2XL. This one is long. And it has the matching tie as well. And this is red. Now, this is to the flow on me. This ain't going to be to the flow if you taller than 5'1", okay? <laughs> Just saying. But this is a 2XL. And this, to me, kimonos are pieces that you can wear all year round. It just depends on the event. Now, if I was going out, I would have on some little shorts, a uh, tank top, and I would have had on me some um, some red chucks, and I would have been out the door, okay? With this high ponytail, some big ass hoop earrings, my bum bag, greased up with the scripple lotion, and I would have been good, okay? But this is 2XL. To me, I think the bigger your kimono is, you have more versatility. Okay, so this is a hard, hard, hard. Did I say hard? This is a hard um print to come across in a blouse. Okay, that is like just a straight zebra print. Straight zebra print. This is a 2XL, and this is by Fashion Nova. But guess what I found this shirt at? I found this in the men's department. How ironic is that? See, I don't be missing nowhere. I go to the men's section. I even go through the children's section, too, because you just never know. People could have just been putting stuff back, just putting it any kind of well, trying to hide it for later, okay? Okay. So you can get lots of wear out of this, this print. This fall season. And that's a 2XL. So this is what I got today. Let me read y'all comments. I second that sexy, sexy date. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Not the booty cheeks. Yes, honey. The booty cheeks. The booty would just be free. And it would just let the material just glide over it. And I'd be good for this, y'all. Y'all, ask James. He'd be, um, he be sitting in front of the TV, and I'd be like. <laughs> so, really? Mm -hmm. That's my mating call. <laughs> woo, woo. Yes, honey, stripper lotion is the business. That is a list of this. Hell her and hell her some more. See, I have my stripper lotion concoction, okay? Yes, honey, just be walking around picking up any old thing. Be like, <laughs> who I love being a girl. Do y'all love being a girl? I do. I love being a girl, okay? 
Grab then had the um stripper lotion as part of the accessories. Maybe I need to show y'all that on um live nights. Anybody need some scripper lotion? I got you. Okay, I got you. Walk the bin. That's what it's called. The bin snap. Child, don't let me be in the kitchen cooking and got them. I hear him coming and I go open the oven and I be like, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. So let me show y'all what I got today. Now, this is a kimono. I'm good to y'all. I'm good to y'all. Because you know what? I'm always on the hunt. Tomorrow, after my doctor's appointment, I'm going to be outsourcing. This kimono is fire, okay? What you want to know? What you want to know, Lisa? This kimono, I love the texture. It has texture, okay? It's to the flow. If I wanted to, I could wrap it like this. Pin, wrap. Pin this right here just to make sure I have some security. Okay, just a little security. Put an OB belt on, a wide cinched belt, and. But I like to wear my kimonos like this. This is like the perfect one for denim. Like, this is like. It has this textured as material okay and i just was like sold sold okay oh okay about the scripper lotion i got you mary talking about i got them singles child p valley got me wanting to take some pole classes okay i ain't gonna even lie to y'all this is gorgeous. This is like, this is handmade too. There ain't no tags in here. So somebody took their sweet little time and they made this. I'm all for the texture, all for the texture, okay? So I got that today and I was only in the stove for like 20 minutes. Yes, I need to take orders for the scripper lotion again because they be. I was about to do a, I was about to make a bunch of bottles when I went down. Now, y'all, I couldn't leave this in the stove. This is the second one I done found in one month. Girl, <laughs> you going to the opera? You going to the play? Kim, you might need this after you perform. Baby. Oh, uh. oh this is the thing to, um, to make sure it don't move. Okay. Baby. You, you, you need one of these. So after you perform, you come out and be the diva you are. And be like, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Now, let me show y'all this killer ass dress I got on. Okay. Y'all, this is satin all the way through. These are actually for a belt, a belt loop. So you could actually put a belt on with this. It's got the belt loops. Okay. This is by Tiger Mills. This is a faux fur, but this is nice. Okay, and the, what I like about it is that it's a blonde, it's a blonde fur, okay? Not brown, not fox, not kitty cat. It's blonde, okay? Fire, okay? Shaw say coat season is round the corner. <sighs> okay. No, not a mink stole, hunty. Very jajagabo. Yes. Okay. So, 
I couldn't leave this in the stove. I couldn't. I was going to ask for somebody's opinion. And I said, why the hell are you doing that? For a, a person to say, don't get that. And then they go back and get it. No, no. So this is a poncho. Okay. This is a poncho. This is the neck of the poncho. And then look at that fabulous. Fabulousness. Okay. Do you see that fringe? Do you see it? Girl. If I could get this over these boobs, girl, this could easily be a skirt. But my waist is not that small, baby. Okay? It's not. For right now. For right now, it's not that small. Okay? But tell me this is not fabulous. This is a 2X. This is a 2X. And it is like sweater knit material. And you see, it's got the same trim that goes around the neckline along with fringe. This is fabuloso, okay? Fabuloso. Booyah. Okay. So, normally I do not pick up fast fashion pieces. Um, to, to, to sell to y'all. I'll keep them for myself, but I couldn't leave this jean jacket in there. This is by Boohoo. Now, this ain't gonna fit me, but I know one of y'all needs this. One of y'all needs this. Okay, this is how it's looking on me. Okay. It is purposely supposed to look like it's falling off your shoulders. You fasten it, not happening, not happening, not happening, okay? However, comma, it's a long jean top, okay? So if you want to wear your jean, your denim on denim, this is a good, good, good piece to have. This is a Boohoo size 10, size 10, Ponchos come in handy. Hell yes, honey. Especially if you ain't no coat person, okay? I cannot stand driving in the car with a coat on. Now, I got this dress because I love the print. Look at the print. Child, if I was a Leo, if I was a Leo, the cat family would definitely be up in my wardrobe too, but it ain't. I'm the virgin Virgo, but I love this maxi dress. I love the cut of it, and it's to the flow. Once again, on me, I have a little boob action out just like that, okay? Oh, your little sandals. Bye. Okay. Bah. Fab you lust. That print is fire. Hey Bianca. Oh, oh, see. I got I got hold that thought. I'll be right back. Bye, bye entertain the lady. Take Okay, this is the last thing I bought from the thrift store today. And I had to get this for bond. <laughs> I had to get this for bond. It says, I bark at bad costumes. He gonna be ready, honey. He gonna be ready. Oh, look. Come here. Where was you going? It was like she ain't by me nothing. Oh, 
Okay. See, Mama got you something. Y'all see him get him. Yeah, Mama got you something. Yeah, that's for Halloween. That's for Halloween. That's for Halloween. Okay, so I have some other bags that I did not get to show y'all because, you know, this is when I went out. Okay, I've been sitting on these bags for a good little minute. All right. Now, this one, this first one, this is vintage. And honey, it smell vintage. You know how when people be putting the mothballs like in their closet. I don't put mothballs in my closet, y'all, or where I store my clothes. Um, I use the up-to-date shit that don't leave that mothball smell. Okay. But I preserve my clothes. And I got some matching boots that go with this. And maybe somebody can buy the purse with the matching boots. The boots are exactly this chocolate color. I see all this gold hardware. Okay. Metal, metal on zipper on the inside. And then this hefty chain strap. Okay, hold on, y'all. We got a troll. We got a fucking troll. Okay. <sighs> Ew. Okay. Okay, I just I just took care of it. Okay. Yes, see the blocks. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for no damn moth balls. Okay. No ma'am. But this is a this is a jewel. Cause like I said, I have matching brown chocolate suede boots that got the the chain. I bought these at two different times in two different locations. Got the chain going down the side of the boot that you know you see. Fabulous. Fabulous. I have this Escada. Um, this is a, a Escada overnight duffel. Okay. And when I say overnight, you could fit. Uh -huh, you could fit some stuff in here. When I went to the hospital the second time, this is the bag I used. And it had a blanket and everything. And shit still went full. Okay. It's got the keys. It's got all the Escada um, labeling. This is like to me, this is the perfect size overnight bag. If you're going to like go somewhere with your man for the weekend, you're going to put clothes in here that fold and I'm going to be ironed. Okay. When you put your body in it, it's going to come all together. You don't have to worry about no wrinkles. Okay. And your little lingerie. And then you have your little, your little traveling toiletry bag. Hey, boom, y'all. Okay. And last but not least, I got this bag right here. I'm really, I, I don't know if I could, I should depart with this. Okay. This bag right here. This is a huge hobo style leopard print with pink leather going around. It has the big um, hook, hoop hook closure. Open it up. It's got beads. It has this pocket. It has this pocket. And then this is it opened up. Now, of course, y'all know once again, in the store, nobody looking at shit until you look at it. Bam. Okay? That bag is so nice. Where did you find that? You walked right past it. You really did. Okay? Statement. Statement. And that concludes tonight's Thrift Tuesday haul. Okay, so tell me what what was your favorite? What was your favorite? Because this week for the live, 
we we done with Thumb child. Or at least I am. I'm done with Thumb. I don't know about y'all, but I am. What was your favorite piece? Bianca, you came in late, so you done missed some stuff, girl. You don't have to go back and watch. Oh, girl, they even be having little costumes at the thrift store for the little fur babies. Okay? You cannot beat that. So, Bond got one look for October. We working on his um, stuff timber attire because y'all know it's going to be Bond timber, too. You know, he, gonna, he a Virgo as well. Yes. Y'all know Devon is a Virgo as well. She on the 19th. So you got all these damn Virgos. And one of my friends was supposed to be having her baby on my birthday. She say, how in the hell? I said, get ready. Because that daughter going to be a handful, honey. In a good way. She's going to bring them lots of joy. Most definitely. So, are y'all still there? Because I don't see nothing coming up through the comments. I had to block somebody, but I didn't think I blocked all y'all. So, I definitely hear accessories, accessories, accessories. Um, necklaces, earrings. What about vintage watches? Because... I, I I I have two dress watches, two. One is Michael Kors, and one is one of those little skinny feminine watches, like you wear when like you going like out and you still want to be able to tell time. I got one of those watches, and y'all know I'm a Apple I'm a Apple watch girl, and this is what I wear every day. But I had to, I got the same band that I have on my Michael Kors watch on this watch too. So, yes. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I don't see nothing. I don't see nobody having conversation. Last thing I see is Ms. Life Joy said, we use cedar blocks. Ain't nobody got time for no stink ass mothballs. So, and I need to bring the strip of lotion back to the um back to I'll show y'all this this is some strip of lotion with the the luminous the lumin luminous I can't even talk right now the luminous um look at that look look at that glow child and that glow will last y'all see how that's shining child I will be like this Oh, uh, I don't see no comments. I don't see no. I don't, the last thing I see is life joy. Somebody leave some purple hearts so I can see that my thing is working. But your legs will look like this, okay? This week, I'm really trying hard to go lay outside so I can get me a tan before this summer is over. I don't see no. Let me see. Yep, I don't see any comments. I don't. Maybe my thing is on froze or something. Because I just typed something. I said, hey, let me look at my phone. Hold on, y'all. Okay. Yes, thank you, um, Life Joy. It, it is. The comment section is acting janky, okay? Okay. The bags. The barcade kimono, but it's too small. The brocade. Oh, that textured one. Whew, that is fly. Okay. Um, Bianca, yes, I'll go back. I'm at work still. Yes, don't, don't get in trouble. 
But you could tell them they can join us on Thursday nights at 8 o'clock. <laughs> Invite a friend and tell them to tell me who invited you to the live. You never know. I might have a special gift. Let's see. Life dress says she loves her stripper lotion. Yes, that is some good ass lotion. Okay. I'm trying to fold the laundry because you put it out there. <laughs> Go on, face you. Get your laundry done, girl. Because yesterday, when I tell you, Jasmine was like, Mommy, you are like, you don't ever finish the laundry. Not in not in the afternoon, I don't. No last toll. Because child go put that laundry in the damn machine, and I be done forgot. But then when I go by, I'll pick it up. But I just, was I was continuously doing it yesterday. So I was really, really happy about that. Okay. Thank you, Kim. Um, hey, Miss Honey Hugs, you're gonna have to go back and watch Boo because, um, you missed some gems, honey. You missed some gems. You and Bianca, who is Elock Black? Who is that? Hey, welcome. Um, hey, Annie McPherson, where can you get the lotion you can get it from your local beauty supply store um miss life's joy her husband went and bought her and all her all his friends wives the lotion too because he was wanting them to benefit from it too so child once you use the scribble lotion you see that you see that sheen and it ain't greasy it's not sticky or nothing okay Hi, Jean. But you can get it at your local beauty supply store, like your local black girl beauty supply store. Let me see if I got a bottle over here. Because, honey, I be going through my lotion. I ain't going to need to put it on the front. I go screw it. It looks like this. This is the scrupa lotion, okay? <laughs> if you cannot find yours at your local um, African-American beauty supply store, just let me know and I could pick up you a bottle and you could buy one during the next live, okay? Bam! This is the bomb, okay? It's James owe me owe me some coins. See, look out for your friends, and your friends will look out for you. Something is up with my notifications. I have an actual alarm set for the sale, but when you pop up for things like this, I get nothing, girl. Okay, let's just go on and make it a date. Tuesday's gonna be our thrift haul Tuesdays. Okay, I'm gonna bring y'all what I got from the week before in the weekend. Okay, because I'm going thrifting tomorrow too. Right after I leave the doctor's office, show Liz. Y'all, y'all better listen to all these testimonies about this scrupa lotion, honey. It will have you right. Now, this is what color it looks like. Mine don't look that color. I'm gonna show y'all the difference between mine and the one in the bottle. This one is that color. Okay. Very, very, very moisturizing, okay? Very moisturizing, especially when you get out the shower, honey. You know, you're just a little damp. Oh, this going to set in good, honey. Put on them booty cheeks when you go over there and bend, bend and snap. <laughs> Baby, it will get you all the way together. Okay, no ashy elbows, knees, or ankles over here. Okay, and I tell you, I keep a bottle in my car for when I come from the nail salon. Day lotion is trash. Um, I use this because it gets my cuticles, everything gets together. Ain't no ash gonna be in between my fingers. Now, ma'am, Dollar General carry it. Girl, okay, Maria, thanks for that tip. I'm going to 
have to go by the Dollar General and check it out. How much is it at the Dollar General, though? We know it ain't no dollar. Hey, Annie. I love y'all, too. I feel like I've been missing my friends. So now, if you want the special concoction done by me for the scruple lotion, this is what color mine going to look. Okay. Mine has bronzer. It has bronzer and um essential. Y'all, y'all see, look at that collarbone. It wasn't popping until I just I just did that to y'all. Y'all see that? Oh child, I use um bronzer. That's how much exactly, Maria. Thank you. I'm going to have to hit up the Dollar General. Kim say hers is brown, too. Y'all put some bronzer or some lumin luminosity. Let me show y'all. Because I kept the bottle when I made the last batch. So I could show y'all what I actually use. Because... You know, the devil is messy, honey. The devil is messy. Because when I was getting ready to make y'all some um some custom-made <laughs> scripple lotion, child, please, that's when I had to go down for the count, okay? Hey, okay? So this is what I use to make the glowing type of scripple lotion. I use the Lumi Glow Lotion. Okay, and this is by L'Oreal, and this is color 904, and this is Deep Glow, Deep Glow, okay? I put some in it. I used the whole container. I only kept the container so I could show y'all, okay? I used the whole container, and then I, I do a little extra. I do. I'm going to make my lotion scratch. See, I can't stand when people be in hell. I can't stand it. I can't. Oh, here it go. My bad. See, I'm always wanting to blame somebody. Always. It's okay. It is. Okay. $4.99, maybe for okay. Dollar General. in here too y'all say hey to maria she go by michelle but that's my sister y'all this is what i used for this concoction right here you see you see all the mixed stuff but i also put in half a bottle of this okay that's why y'all see half of it's missing um you could do you could do the wine by vaseline um, I think Neutrogena got one, but this is the Shea and Cocoa Butter Oil Gel. Child, it will get you all the way right, okay? Look, look, look at that. Look at that. Now, if you want to get, if you're going out, like you want out to the club and you're gonna have on like some shorts or you have a little short skirt or you gonna have your your collarbone and your cleavages out child y'all need some of this pixie glam i'm gonna show you child every time the light the lights be flashing and hitting me child i'm gonna be glowing you can't break my soul. You can't break my soul. You won't break my soul. You won't break. It make your it make all your muscles be popping. <sighs> my gosh, it this is a beautiful thing. This is Pixie Glow. I had to um I sprayed this all over Ashley at her photo shoot. And you see the glistening? You don't break my soul. Hey Cheryl Gray. <laughs> and say thanks for your secret girl 
Now, I know y'all, I don't know, because see, I can't tell you the last Victoria's Secrets semi-annual sale I've personally been to. I can't tell you the last one I've been to. But I can tell you this, when I go, all this shit right here, all this shit that say bronze, y'all see, you see that? Hey, all that shit like this, your girl buy. Because I gotta I got keep, I gotta keep up um, my scripple lotion demands. And this one smells like the beach. It smells like the beach, okay? That lotion is all that. So, I gave y'all two tips tonight, okay? Scripple lotion. You know what I'm talking about? Go to your local beauty supply store or your Dollar General and look for this lotion right here. I'm putting it right up here so you can screenshot it, okay? Screenshot it. And then you go home. I had to get a special bottle for my concoction. <laughs> I did. I went to um, TJ Maxx and I bought me this amber bottle. You can use any type of bottle. But because I use this so much, to make this bottle full, I used two of these, two. A half of this, the whole damn thing of this, okay? Because this actually has tint. See, it's that color. This one is brown, like the one in my bottle. And I may squeeze a little bit of this in now. Baby, I'm going to be glowing. I'm going to be scripper lotion down all year round. No lies told. Get you some. She said Amazon sell it too. So see, bam. Mix it up. You got to have a bottle that's big enough to mix all of those, those things up though. And then it'll mix it. This one bottle, when it's full, this lasts me a whole six months. So I only have to do this concoction twice a year. Putting y'all on game. Putting y'all on game. Okay. I am. No lies told. So, everybody tell me what their favorite piece was. My favorite piece was the um the wrap pants. Because those are like a surprise that you ain't even like ready for. Okay. The wrap pants, the rainbow silk shirt. And dress the teal kimono. Child, all of it's my favorite. Okay, even these two shirts right here, are my favorite. Okay, but I think this week I'm gonna take y'all and do a little uh, a little tour in my closet because I finally got my closet at a place where it makes sense to me now. Okay. Purged a lot, and some of those things that was in my closet will be in these live sales because y'all know I just I'm a collector by nature. I can't help it. I can't. Who all was part of women who wine on Saturday night? I don't know. How many people was part of women who wine? And I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all when the next Women Who Wine will be. Will be September the 3rd. September the 3rd. Okay, okay. Y'all was in the building. Stuff, did you ever replace your spy cam? Girl, with all the shit that was going on with me, with medical child... I need to check that. I need to look at my Amazon account because I did order me another, what were we named her? 007. I did 
order another 007 or did I just have it in my cart? I think with everything that was going on while I was down, um, that's something that probably got overlooked, but I do need to um, check in on that. Prayers to Miss Laura. Yes, prayers to Miss Laura. I'm going to show y'all how I'm going to get my nails done next week. But these are going to go bye-bye. I think y'all like stiletto or do y'all like square? If I go square, they got to go short. They got to go short, short. Okay? Because I don't want to look like a teeny bobble with them, them, them thick ass square nails. Okay? No shade to anybody that got square nails. Okay? I like stiletto or almond shaped. I think those look best on my hands, but I already got my. I like coffin too now. And I think it's one called Princess. I want to say it's called Princess. I've had coffin before too. And I actually liked coffin too. Because it's like a narrow and then it's square off at the top. But I like stilettos. Especially when they freshly done. They be sharp, y'all. Like I could scratch. I was there because I had to laugh because your mom was um, freezing too much. And she was really trying. <laughs> She was trying, y'all. Thank you, Annie. She was trying. And then she finally came through. How you get on? How you get on the live with me? And I'm the host. And you're gonna say, host, you need to re um reload your um Wi-Fi. Cause your Wi-Fi messing up my Wi-Fi. I'm here in Jersey and you're in Florida. Really, mother? Really? Okay, but she got it together. Almonds make your hands look too long. I want mine to look long. I'm short. <laughs> I'm short. I like square because, see, that's what I'm saying. If I do square, they have to be short because I'm typing. Um, but my lady automatically know when she see me, she go ahead and she shorten my stiletto too because when she feels my nails, I literally can go three, maybe four weeks without a feel and don't nothing break. Thank you, Miss Cheryl. Every time I sh change my shape from square, they break easily. Really? She must not be filing you right, girl. She must not be filing you right. They got to get them corners, okay? So do y'all think I should do purple, purple, or red for the 48th? Because I made my appointment for next week. You don't break my soul. You don't break my soul. Let me ask y'all something. Do y'all like lives better? Or do you like just the straight into the video content? Um, because I need to know, I need to know which one I can do more of that. Um, I know y'all like it all, but child doing lives every week. Cause I'm back. I'm back. I'll let y'all know when I'm going to evict this four month um, uterus. I'm gonna let y'all know because I'm gonna probably just be out for like two or three weeks while you know, because I'm used to I'm used to what I gotta do. Okay, life's joy. She said, Love both, love the lies, but you can do both. I got a vlog. One is I gotta finish editing, editing it, <sighs> editing it. Okay, You think I should do red? I think I should do red too. I think <clears throat> I think red is grown. Okay. My next surgery will be sometime in October. Sometime in October. I did get my biopsy results back yesterday, and I am oh, green light, negative results. Nothing was going on in the uterus. The bitch just big. Okay, she just big. Just big because of these fibroids. That's all, okay? All of them. I've got so into. I've got so into you, Annie. You gonna have to say that again, girl, because I cannot make out what you really trying to say. 
all of them stuff. You're the best. What was you meaning to say? I got so into from you. I, that part. Okay, I hear lives. Bread. Great news. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise him. Yeah, she caught me yesterday. Now, let me tell y'all, I had a little story time behind when I had my biopsy. Okay, a little quick little story time for y'all. Yes, keep me lifted in prayers. Really? Is he okay? Is he okay? Y'all, I did find out a couple of things. Um, when I went to have my biopsy last week, um, yeah, I'm praying for him to have a speedy recovery too. Um, I have never given natural childbirth, okay? Never. I have had two C-sections, two, all right? One, um, y'all already know that 28-year-old daughter, and y'all know the other one that's loud in the other room over there, 21, okay? So, because I never had natural childbirth, they gave me this prescription to take these tablets the night before the procedure for me to dilate, for my cervix to dilate, okay? Last time my cervix dilated, y'all, was back in 1994, and I was in the hospital for like eight hours, and she only went to four and a half centimeters. That's the last time my cervix dilated, okay? She didn't even get a chance to dilate with Jada, all right? Anywho, so I'm in there, and I'm like... I'm not going to lie. I was a little paranoid last Monday morning about going to take this um, biopsy. I know it needs to be done in order for me to move forward. However, I'm going to lie. I was nervous. So I get there. One of my gynecologist partners, she did my um, biopsy. Okay. And she is a black woman. She got locks. She a fly chick too, okay? She about the same age as me. Like, we we connect, okay? So, she had, um, she told me to strip from the bottom down. And she said, you know, that little paper blanket, they, little paper sheet they give you that don't do nothing, okay? Child, she told me, she said, okay, um, just Drape this over you, and then she said, we're come here, we're going to get this started. I said, I need to know exactly how long this procedure is going to take. Because in my head, mentally, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to prep for this, okay? I'm trying to prep for this. So, I'm laying, on the, I'm laying back. She come in. She's like, are you ready? I just told her, yeah. She said, you took the prescription? Yeah, I took the prescription. So, then she says, um, all right, let's get started. She said, now, I'm going to walk you through this whole procedure. And she said, I'm going to tell you when I'm going to do this, and I'm going to tell you when I'm going to do that. She said, but I'm going to try to make it as quick as possible. So she gets down there, y'all. I'm a girl, me. And she's like, your cervix isn't dilated. I said, I told you my cervix ain't dilated since 1994. You thought I was playing? So... She says, okay, well, I'm going to have to dilate you a little manually. Why? Why, Craig? That's all I got to say. Why? If you have ever had any type of biopsy, whether it is a cervical, uterine, whatever type of biopsy, vaginal, univ vaginal one, shit, a pap smear still hurt to me, okay? And I hate those appointments. I'm 47 years old and I have been going to a gynecologist since I was 18. Okay? 18. 17. Since I was 17. Okay? And I don't miss no years. I ain't that person. I, I go to my damn appointments. Okay? Child. I said, please don't hurt me. That's all I'm going to say. I have been in enough pain the past three months. <laughs> I just do not want no pain going on down there with my girlfriend. Child, let me just tell you this. She dilated my cervix. She told me she was doing it. 
that hurt. I almost wanted to kick her, no lies told. But I was, I was, I was laying down, <laughs> looking up, and I had my hands just like this, laying across my chest, and I was just. <laughs> <laughs> so she talking to me she talking to me so she trying to keep you know it light in the room child please she told me she i thought she dilated my cervix it took a few minutes um she did it manually she gave me some little injection and then when she got in there she was like okay i'm in Oh my gosh. I said, how much longer? She said, not that much longer. You know, that really mean about five, 10 more minutes. Right. So she's in there and she's like, okay, I have to take a sample from each wall of your uterus, each wall. And I said, well, will I feel that? She said, some people say they do. Some people say they don't. I felt it. I felt it. Okay. I felt her grab the sample literally from each wall. I felt it. Y'all, I almost kicked Valerie. I almost kicked her. I did. Cause I was like, fuck. I wasn't ready. Like I tell you, I don't even like going to get a pap smear, but I go get mine. Okay. I do. I don't like doing nothing that is in a in a sacred spot like that that's only meant for my man. You feel me? I don't be want nobody else down there. Anywho, girl almost kicked it because she saw my leg flinch. She said, girl, don't kick me. This is exactly what came out my mouth. I said, I'm going to really need you to hurry and get up out my coaching. I said that to her. She said, well, I'm almost done. She said, I just need you to <laughs> give me about 60 more seconds. And I was like, okay. I told Dr. Valerie, I'm going to need you to hurry and get about my Gucci. Then <laughs> she finished. She was like, are you all right? Yes. I said, you have to understand when you are a person who has had C-sections to deliver her babies, um, this don't feel normal. Okay. This don't feel normal. This feels like I am literally getting a freaking pap smear all over again. This shit is longer. It's taking forever. Okay. So while she was in there, she did examine my uterus again from the outside externally. And she was like, your uterus really is big. I said, thank you again for reminding me that. Um, that's not what I want to hear right now. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to hear that shit. Okay. Yes, face you. It feels inappropriate. Okay. She said it feels like they slicing steak. So then when she finished, she said I can get dressed. She told me that I was going to be cramping. She told me um, I'm going to have cramps, but it's going to be contract contracting still because she manually um, dilated my cervix. Okay. Y'all, I was so ready to leave the doctor's office that day. And I had my route planned for me, where I was going to hit these spots. Y'all know my, 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 my spots. Child, please. She said, do you have, do you have somebody outside waiting in the car for you? I said, unfortunately not. She said, oh, okay. So she was like, um, when you get home, make sure you take some 600 milligram, um, ibuprofen. And she was like, a day or two might be spotting. She was like, but it's not going to be like, when you're on your cycle spot and she was like, cause you're not, you, you're not ready to, uh, you know, I ain't, I ain't ready to have my flow every month. Now I'm going to tell y'all when I get this thing done today, I bought my last bag of pads. I bought my last supply of sanitary napkins. Okay. Because that's going to be it. When this is over, 
I'm giving Jada all my stuff. She can have the little basket I got it in and everything. I'm going to put it in her bathroom and she's going to be able to have it. Because I'm not going to miss this. Not one damn bit. Okay? Y'all, by the time I got home, I wasn't going thrifting. I wasn't going nowhere. I met up with my husband, had brunch, and I was like, okay, we got to go. Because I really want to curl up and just be in the fetal position. And that's exactly what I did when I came home. I was on the couch, reclined, no TV on, no nothing. And my ass was knocked out. Yes, Bianca. No more pads, no more tampons. I'm giving her the whole care package. Because I got a basket, it's got pads, tampons, panty liners, you know, once for heavy days, once for light days. I got the whole concoction, okay? And I'm going to just give it to her. She's going to be singing the Wiz version of a brand now. I know, that's right. I'm, I ain't going to have to ever worry about a period again. Set us free. I feel like I'm a star child. Come on. She, I'm a gift wrapping for her child. I am. She'll be like, Mommy, what is this? Girl, this is a forever gift. you going to need this for a while. You got a minute. <laughs> yes, child. No flow is the way to go. I keep hearing the husbands be happy, child, because they ain't got to be looking out for her no more either. I don't, I don't ever want to look out for her. I don't. I don't. But that was my little story time, y'all. I told Dr. Valerie, well, could you please hurry and get up out my coochie? And when I told James about it on my way home, he was like, oh, my gosh. He said, wife, um, I just, oh, he was just like cringing. Oh, I could not have somebody... I, no, men couldn't survive this. The stuff that we got to go through, men could not survive. They couldn't survive a mammogram because they they shit getting smushed, okay? They couldn't survive that. They wouldn't be able to survive a lot of stuff, okay? Mr. Gun, Mr. Long gonna love it. No more periods. I know it must be lovely, Kim. I could wear white or cream or whatever color I want whenever I want, Okay? Because sometimes your period be making you not want to have on a cute-ass outfit. No lies told, okay? But y'all see, I'm still cute. I still got on my cute little maxi dress, honey. I'm still cute. Okay. Um, She said, I want my doctor to take mine. But the, you don't want no more kids, Ken Ken? You don't want no more kids? When you heal, James gonna walk in the in the door skipping. I bet he will. And my snap and pop gonna be. I'm gonna have a new, I'm gonna have the 2.0 version of snap and bend and snap. I'm gonna have a 2.0 version. Be ready. I'll be back to report. Procedure. Oh, it was rescheduled. Okay. I'm pretty sure, Miss Cheryl, life is going to be happier, honey. Men don't like hearing about being snipped. They don't like hearing about nothing, okay? <laughs> I'm just glad I have a husband that will go to the doctor and get his checkups. Because if I go, you need to go. Because half the time when they telling me, oh, it's time to have a colonoscopy. Oh, bro, it's time for you to get a colonoscopy too. Look, my colonoscopy that I had in May, it was the beginning of May, I really thought the prep is actually worse than the procedure. The prep is worse than the procedures, okay? Uh-uh. No, men are punks. They can be. Kim, what you mean? What comes after what? What comes after what ain't pretty? Kim, you have to break it down for me because you just said them, but baby, what comes after is not pretty. What is not pretty? Okay, I'm glad to hear the daddy thing got rescheduled. I don't blame you, child. Okay. Some women, menopause isn't as bad as others, but mine, them two heifers are a beast. <laughs> what comes the period is menopause. 
I know, I know. But y'all, I'm not scared. I'm not. I'm not scared. The fact that my mama don't even know when she actually, she don't even know if she ended menopause. She's talking about she could still be in menopause right now and not even know it. And she calm as, a, uh, she's just cool. She's cool as hell. Now, the other night when I was on the phone with her, I think I was drinking too much sangria, but I was about to say, I think I could kind of remember when my mama was going through menopause because I remember there was a period in her life that I've witnessed that she was she was going through the bat shit crazy she was that's the symptom i'm scared of the most that shit crazy and i'm afraid of um i'm just i'm i'm just i'm not afraid i'm i'm trying to i'm working on building myself up to it i am but i understand that this is a chapter in every woman's life that she has to go through whether it's sooner or later okay so i'm just at that point now where it's sooner i'm going to have to get really give me a herbalist so i can have something to help me with cuz i do not want to be batshit crazy i do not i do not want to be snapping at people and going off on people that's not me and i just don't want to be doing that Many and pause have you moody and AC. Our AC already stay on blast, child. So that ain't nothing new. Don't nobody touch a thermostat on the second floor. That's cause for a whole argument if the AC thermostat get touched on the second floor. First floor, whatever. Second, don't touch. She's talking about menopause, having a hysterectomy puts you right there. They say it's surgical menopause, though. Surgical menopause. I was in IHOP, y'all, a couple weeks ago, having a whole conversation with the manager because um, she know me and James. She know we like to sit and all of that. And she came over and she was like, I haven't seen you in a while. And I said, yeah, girl, I said I've been on bed rest. And so she said she had to, and she told me that she had just had a hysterectomy as well. And I said, James, I said, I'm so sorry. Because the mere lady talking, child, she done lift her shirt up and show me her laparoscopic skull. She done showed me on. She said, I was only out for five weeks. And she was like, you see, I'm, I'm good. I was like, okay. But this is the thing. I did not know women were having hysterectomies or partial hysterectomies as young as like being in their late 20s because she happens to be in her 30s. OK, the, the manager I was talking to, she happens to be in her 30s. She was 33 and I wasn't expecting her to say that age either. OK, I was actually thinking she was more me and james's age right she said girl i got a whole 13 year old i said whoo she said y'all got kids because i never see y'all with kids i said girl we got a whole 28 and 21 year old she said no yeah yeah that fucks them up every single time the 28 and 21 that's that's all it is okay let me see Mood changes and hot flashes. That's what I'm, uh -uh. that's the batshit crazy part I'm talking about, Kim. So if you buy you a separate pillow to press against your tummy when you stand up, what that do? What, 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 you talking about after the surgery? Because I know about that after the surgery. <sighs> Got it. Um, that's what you're talking about, life's joy. You can start your herbs now. Um, Face you, could you please send me a list of herbs, please? Thank you, and I appreciate you very much. Me personally, Bianca, rather have menopause instead of all the fire. Who you telling? I rather have that too because these things got me over here looking like I'm a whole four and a half months pregnant. Bump that. Okay. Um, day sweats are embarrassing, night sweats as well. 
So a hot flash I hear is that when you are feeling like you are burning up internally and you just cannot get cool enough, like drinking something cold, does that help? Like what helps when you're going through that? Because I'm not making me scared, but not scared enough not to do it done, that part. Uh, Michelle said, my friend girl had her transmission engine dropped a couple of years ago. <laughs> she lost it. Oh, that's what it's called. I'm about to get my transmission engine dropped. There really ain't going to be no more deposits, withdrawals. Just fun. <laughs> Kim said, I could not take anymore. I had to get the plant based pellets like the women on Married to Medicine. I don't watch Married to Medicine. So what's some plant-based pellets? What the hell is that? I don't, I don't know. Bianca said her mom had a partial when she was 28. Yes, this, and the, the manager I was talking about, she, she was, I think 33 was young. I was like, wow. She said she only had one child. And I was like, okay, that is young. Wow, 25? I told y'all the other night, if I am meant to still carry a baby, it's going to be through the good Lord up above. God going to have to implant that baby and he going to carry that baby in me because honey, 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 that's the only way, other way I'm having more children, okay? If it's from God telling me stuff, I pick you. You going to have the Savior. Okay, I got you, God. I'm ready. I'll tell James, you the baby daddy. I'm telling. Okay. Um, These doctors are pushing those menopause procedures too much. I think they do. And I think with the male doctor that I had, that was the very first thing he said to me while I was still on the examination table. That was the first thing he said to me, hysterectomy. And I'm like, no, there has to be other procedures or something to get done other than just jumping straight to a major surgery. Okay. Come on, man. Okay. For after surgery, because I've had, excuse me, C-sections, the objective is that she is going to try to go through the belly button. The thing that she is not sure about is if the uterus is going to come through that, which I'm going to just say I'm preparing for um, the harder procedure where I may have to get cut again. And she said she would go through my same C-section. She would clean up all the scar tissue and all of that. She said, honey, you, you're going to be good when I'm done. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. That's what's up with women. We know. We know. Okay. I didn't have a C-section, so I already know what to be prepared for. And I know the first doggone thing your ass got to do is walk. You got to walk. Got to get that air and that gas, and you got to be moving. Just need to walk around. I ain't going to be able to climb no stairs, but I'm going to be able to walk. Maybe I need to find a doctor in New Jersey because in the state of Maryland, my doctor told me I had to be married with three or more kids and get this. My husband must agree. That's be now. Let me tell you, since you brought it up. In North Carolina, when I gave birth to Jada, um, my doctor, three months prior to my surgery, I already knew I was gonna have to have a C-section. So I had a planned C-section. However, it didn't go to plan, all right? I didn't make it to July 21st. Jada was supposed to be born July 21st, 2001. Jada came into this world on July 6th, I mean, June 6th, 2001, okay? Um, Prior to me having a C-section, I had already discussed with my doctor about having my tubes tied, okay? I wanted no more withdrawals, but no more deposits, okay? We was done. James said he was not going to put me through trying to have a son because my pregnancies are great, 
but the deliveries is a freaking beast, okay? I am just prone to get toxemia, <laughs> toxemia, proclampsia, whatever you call it, okay? I, I'm prone to, I had it with both my kids, and my husband, Ken Ken, he had to sign um, a, a, a piece of paper saying that he was okay with me getting a tube my tube side. And I ain't gonna lie, the time that bothered me too, because it's like, why do you need his permission? This is my body, okay? Do do the wife get to sign off on a permission for a husband to have a vasectomy if he is under the age of what did you say? Under 30. No, you had to be married with three or more kids. Do I do I have to sign permission for him to get a vasectomy? Because if not, child, please, y'all can keep it rolling, okay? Listen, he signed it with no, no hesitation. He signed it. But what about husbands out here that still be wanting their wife to have more kids and she just don't be up for it. Like, what happens to them women? The pellets are the cure. Well, Kim, I'm going to need you to put me on game with what these pellets is, honey, because I'm going to need a cure before I even get started. I have ice packs in the freezer, and I put them on my neck. I use that method too, Bianca, for when I have bad headaches. Child, not hot flashes are like a match gets lit internally, and only God can put it out. I'm not looking forward to that. Ken, Ken, that's not true. Get a second opinion. I agree. Get a second opinion or you might have to cross that state line and bring your butt on over here to um, Del um, <laughs> You're in Maryland, but you got to get to Delaware to get to Jersey. Because um, that don't sound right, girl. Okay? That don't. It's your body when you're done, you're done. True, exactly. Denise say, we as women go through so much. Y'all scaring me with this menopause talk. Tell me about the herbs. I need to know about the herbs and the pellets. Kim, you have an assignment tonight. I need you to send me a link so that I can um, read up on these pellets and possibly get me a prescription or order me some, okay? Because I need to be ready. Kim, that's your assignment. Face you. I need you to send me the herbs too. I need, I need to know everything I need to know to be prepared. Okay. They're going to make you walk for sure. Oh, yes. I already know about that, the walking. I have seen five doctors and they all have told me the same. Wow. But it's your choice if you don't want any more kids. Maybe they thinking that you're going to meet a man and you are going to decide you want to get pregnant and married and y'all may want a child together. That's probably why they're saying what they're saying. Is that right or is that fair? No, it's not because it's your body. You don't want to carry these babies. And child, these babies be in the womb learning um, social media these days, okay? They come out the womb knowing about social media. Well, okay, things like coffee, chocolate will call you, cause you to flash. Oh, see, I've been, I don't cut out coffee. I've been drinking matcha, chocolate. Mm, it's only when I have that time of the month I crave that. There are zero laws for men and their reproductive. That is a damn shame. I need to be able to sign for somebody else, okay? I know you're not married, Kim. Kim, I'm, mm, mm. Kim, email me and um, leave me your phone number. I'm going to call you because I need to know about these pellets, honey. She says it's too much to put on a live. Okay, got you. Kim, it's a state law. And it's nonsense. That's the state of Maryland? Mm. Steph, get one of the fans that you put on your neck. That works for me. Okay, a fan that you put on your neck. I ain't never seen that, um, Bianca. Denise, thank you, ladies. Thank you, Kim, in advance. I want to be... <laughs> 
Denise, I'm with you. I want to be prepared, okay? Child cross the state line. Over here, across the state line, um, Governor Murphy said he was not going to be a part of all this other shenanigans they got going around in other states saying what a woman can and cannot do to her body. I'm not going to say the term because I ain't trying to get <sighs> reported. This is our next fans on Amazon, too. Okay, send me a link because Bianca quick to send me your link, honey. Yes, honey. If you done, you done. Ken Ken, how how old is your son? She said I had two fans for my neck and I was tired of <laughs> She said the pellets is the way to go. The pellets. I've watched some of Married to Medicine, but not all. I wasn't a fan like that. And Maryland is a pro-choice state. Wow. I know that's right, Kim. It ruined your whole look, honey. Uh-uh. See, at seven, Jasmine was seven years old when me and James had the conversation about having another child and i'm gonna I'm not gonna lie to y'all i love my little jada child ain't nothing that could replace her okay however comma i was okay and i was content with one okay i was content however he convinced me we talked about it a lot and all i kept saying was if we don't have a son this is it I couldn't be like my mama child and have four, four, four babies and all of us girls. No, I said, I learned my lesson from my mama. She tried four times and didn't end up with no girls. But guess what? She got four grandsons. Praise Jesus. She got four grandsons. Your son is seven. Child, that's what I'll do. I'll have to take me a little road trip. And let me know when you're going to be in town. I am with my child's father, and he is fine with my decision. But why do we have to be married? You don't want to be married? You don't want to be married? That's the question you got to ask yourself first. Do you want to be married? But if you don't, you don't. A marriage ain't for everybody. You know what I'm saying? It ain't for everybody. Everybody ain't supposed to be somebody's wife. And everybody is not supposed to be somebody's husband, okay? She said, let's dress. I have a girlfriend. She tried eight times. Oh, no, no, no. Remember I told y'all, I'm the type of chick that I can learn lessons from other people, okay? I don't have to go through it to learn it, okay? My mama had four girls, <laughs> and no boys. I have a sister that got four girls, no boys. That's enough for me right there. That's enough. Okay. The odds is not in my favor. <laughs> it's just not. That's why I got Bond. Bond's my son. That's my little sunshine. Yeah. And he just looked at me. In the end, it's your choice. It is. It's your choice. And the fact that they're trying to make, make you feel like you have to be married, is it because you have less than three children? Or is it because you your age? Like, what could it be? But also, um, Ken Ken... Why would you want a hysterectomy right now at your age? Why? I just want to ask. I ask the questions. I I I, I couldn't. We 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 pretty much planned Jada. Jada was a planned baby. Okay, planned baby. And after that, no more. 
And I tell y'all, I gave all my maternity clothes away like it wasn't nothing. It was nothing. To be honest, I didn't even buy maternity clothes. I just bought bigger clothes. That's all I did. I, I think the only thing I bought was a pair of maternity jeans. That's it. But y'all, pregnant people don't have to look how we, how they tried to conform us to look back in the day. I wish I would have did some um photo shoots with the big belly and all of that shit. But my time has passed. I'm going to save that for my daughters when I, they make me a grandma. She's, I'm having a lot of issues down there. Oh, okay. If you having issues, you say you've not seen several doctors. Maybe you might have to take it to another state, boo. She said, I, it just couldn't be me. I have one girl. She's married and grown. She weighed 19 pounds. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I don't believe that, Life's Joy. Stop playing with me. 19. Did you mean nine pounds? Nine. She said 19 pounds. A whole kindergartner when she was born. I gave my maternity stuff away so fast. Okay. Yes, cross the bridge, girl. Cross the bridge. Your baby was 19 pounds? Are you in the world, the Genesis World Book of Records? 19 pound baby? Oh my God. Face you just like me and my period gonna roll into the wheels fall off. I would have rolled with mine too, but the fibroids in the the oversized uterus is causing me some issues. So because of that, I'm gonna have to tell her peace out. She gonna have the deuce. She about to be evicted. I'm gonna have a whole celebration for. Her. I'm gonna have a party. Y'all all invited, okay? All y'all invited. 19 pounds. Please tell me you did not have her natural. Girl, I didn't want to hear about no sex. <laughs> 19 pounds. You're going to have to send me a picture of her. Your ba a baby picture. I need to see that she was a whole kindergarten. I need to see it with my own. <laughs> 19 pounds. Woof. Girl, I wouldn't have been talking about having sex either for a minute. Yes. Yes. I really like my um, OBGYN that I have um, now. Um, you had no epidural and you, yes, you did natural. I mean, I just want to make sure I'm reading this correctly. You did natural childbirth or a C-section and no epidural. I had an epidural on both occasions. And when I tell you that was the one time in my life, my ass was, I stayed so still because I did not want them to hit the wrong nerve. Okay. You had a 19 pound baby natural. Oh, she came out and she was ready to get a job. She was ready to make her own bottles and all of that. 19 pounds? Oh, my gosh. You was in labor for 18 hours. I was in labor with Jasmine for 18 hours when they told me I had to have an emergency C-section. Yeah, my OBGYN is cool as fuck, too. I like her. And I like the fact that I'll never feel rushed when talking to her. Even yesterday when her partner called me, she talked to me and she was like, well, I have good news. And she was like, all right, we done. We done with that. She was like, you just going, going to do one more um one more procedure and she was like you're gonna be good we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and make the surgical appointment <sighs> add her to the call because i want to hear this story 
This 19 pound baby. Oh my gosh. She said, my mother said the same thing. You a warrior, honey. Yes, you are. Girl. Ain't no mountain. Girl, you is a warrior. A 19 pound baby, natural, no epidural, no um, nothing to like calm your um contractions down either. Um, Bianca, she better have got a pushed gift. She pushed out a 19 pound baby. He should still be giving her push gifts <laughs> to this day. Okay. Oh my gosh. That's why I refuse to deliver any more kids. Ooh. <laughs> Face you say you super pussy. <laughs> Girl. Oh, Lord. <sighs> Women ain't no joke. Yeah, she, she, you get the crown the nightlife, Joy, because I have never heard of anybody having a baby that size. I think the most I've heard maybe was an 11 pound baby, but 19 pounds? That baby, like, came out and she was already three, four months old. Whew. She said back then, girl, they didn't do a lot of shit back in the day when we had babies. Okay, there was no push gift. I don't remember getting no push gifts. I'm getting them now, but I ain't getting no push gift. Okay, thank you, baby, for having a baby. I ain't getting no gifts like that. But one thing I can say, James is a good, good, good man and husband throughout both pregnancies with jasmine he was there as much as he could be i had some crazy strange cravings but with jada i i, I rode him until the wheels broke off i was always craving something always strawberry shortcakes was my thing okay i ain't talking about the little cake i'm talking about the ice cream that was my shit Ooh, we let me gonna give her all the flowers tonight because she is she is super super coochie over here. Okay, I hope she didn't rip you on um, life's joy because I would be mad as hell. Okay, Whew. and don't let her forget. <laughs> she said, "Don't let her forget." I went either. That's what I'm saying. She need to be in the Genesis World Book of Records. I. It, unless there's somebody out there that had a baby that was more than 19 pounds. She's on my whole 67, y'all now. And her father was Nigerian. Twins ran in his family. Girl, that could have been two babies. One nine pounds, one 10 pounds, but she came out a whole 19. Damn. She said she loved checkers chili dogs. Oh, she ripped you from front to back. Girl, I would have said y'all will have y'all gonna have to get, um y'all gonna have to install a new one. I don't need a new one because she done mess she done messed me up, child. I need a whole replacement. Okay. Oh, God bless your soul, Miss Life's Joy. Mm. Baby. I was a dancing pregnant woman too, child. I was dancing all the time. Anytime the cha-cha, anytime anything came on, I was, Jada was moving, honey. To the left now. To the back now, y'all. <laughs> she said, I have to worry. I know. I, ooh. I think I would have been traumatized too, life's joy, after a 19-pound natural delivery with no with the no epidural and she ripped me from front to back i would need a new install okay i would need a new install but i'm pretty sure they sold you up just like new and she said she wasn't doing that shit no more bird all right y'all it has been a pleasure Spending Tuesday evening with y'all and chit chatting. We had a thrift haul. I gave y'all some tips about script a lotion and make sure y'all get y'all a can of this, regardless if you're buying from Target, um, Amazon, 
or wherever you buy your clothes from, spray this, let it air out. And then, because them, them things I showed y'all I got today, they're going to go right back downstairs. I'm going to spray them. And then they all go in the washing machine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I meant worry about me. I have 41 stitches. <sighs> Craig. She said I had a coochie lift too. Girl, they would have had to give me a coochie lift. Okay. They would have had to. With my last daughter, I was dancing all the time too. Yes. I had, I had great pregnancies, but it was the deliveries that just was like, it just, it beat me up. Second time though, I knew what to expect with Jada. And I felt like I was pretty good. I was pretty good. This time I'm going to be pretty good too. I'm going to get me a, a, a shaper, a pull-up shaper so that right when I get out of the hospital, I'm going to be getting snatched, honey. I show him. Yeah. My doctor said, we do this. She said, you want to go back to your natural body shape. Thank you. I will gladly appreciate that. So next summer, just be ready, child. Just be. You had over 500 stitches on the inside? Why? Girl, what happened? Oh, can, can you have to tell me that story on a side note, child? You have to be like Auntie Life's Joy. She be having me cracking up with her stories. <laughs> I be hollering. Oh, I be hollering. 500 stitches on the inside. Oh, whoa, whoa. So those of y'all who missed the beginning of the thrift haul, y'all can go back and watch. If you see something that you like, you can always hit me up on email or you can hit me in my DM, slide on in there on Instagram at I am Eclectnista and I will get back to you ASAP, okay? And on that note, I will see y'all on Thursday night at 8, 8, 8.30ish, in between 8 and 8.30ish, okay? Um, good night, sister. I love you. So, good night, y'all, and I will be back with y'all Thursday night. We'll be on the lookout for a vlog this week, okay? Because it's coming. It is. I'm going to check in. I'm going to look into 007 right now, okay? Good night, Kim. Elock, block. Good night, y'all. Beautiful people. See y'all later this week. Jada is so loud. <laughs>